Spex for JLL are fantastic. I mean, we have been on a strong growth path over the last 10 years, and we will be on a strong growth path over the next 10 years. And there are always bumps on the road over the last 10 years. We had the great financial crisis, but we came out of that crisis even stronger with bigger market shares. And currently we have some bumps on the road with the Brexit and the overall kind of uh, loss of confidence we, we see in some markets of the world. But I'm absolutely convinced we will get out of that even stronger with a bigger market share. But overall, I would say this situation of uncertainty will trigger even more consolidation in our industry. And then we have been uh, a winner of that consolidation over the last 10 years, and we will continue to be so in the future. Now, we are an advisor, and we have to focus on what we are good at, and that is excellent advice to our clients. And that's what we are going to do now. Yeah, the unique thing about Asia is obviously the combination of, of of emerging market with strong GDP growth like, like China and very mature markets like Australia or Japan. Um, we are in a, in a city's business. Our business is predominantly a city's business and so the urbanization trend, whether it's in emerging environments or whether it's in mature environments, is always the same. People are moving towards the big cities and that is growing our potential business opportunity. Well, first of all, a real estate company is by definition a data company. So the amount of data we are collecting is unlimited. We have to get smarter around that data, use that data, analyze that data and transfer that data into business models. And, and so I think it's very natural for a real estate service provider like we are to become a technology company focusing on real estate services.